What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Hattie here. And for today, I'm gonna to be taking you guys with me for a little, little mini weekend away. <laughs> So, I am actually just about to head out, it is currently 10 o'clock, I'm just about to head out to go and meet my mum because, very very exciting, she is actually having the same surgery as myself, so if you didn't know, I had upper blepher upper blepharoplasty done probably about two months ago now and it's also something that my mum has wanted for ages so she is getting hers done today at the same clinic that I went to which I am absolutely made up for her I'm so so excited for her and I'm gonna go and meet her there because obviously she can't drive so I'm gonna pick her up and drive her back well drive us back to her house and I'm gonna spend the weekend there with her kind of like looking after her it's a little breakaway for me because I'm so so grateful because my mum actually has like a log cabin in her garden. It's it's crazy. And she's had it there for a good few years now. So whenever I go and stay, I stay in the cabin. And I'm going to show you guys because it is the cutest little thing. And I'm going to have a little pamper evening. Um, I've got some work to do. And yeah, I'm actually really, really looking forward to it. However, if you wondered why I don't travel often, like just for like a weekend break, especially when I'm dieting, um... Let me, let me show you the reality of what it's like as a bodybuilder to travel. <laughs> right, no joke, that there is just food. It's weird because although I'm dieting, I'm like, how the hell is that just full of food? I've got my gym bag there. I've got a shoot on Monday, so I've got my bag there. And then that's just like my overnight stuff for like the weekend. But literally, I'm sorry, is this a joke? Is this a joke? What the hell? So yeah, that is basically why I don't really travel often because it's just hassle. But it's just it's just annoying having to pack everything basically. But you know, your gal has goals and shit to do, so we do it. But this is like the norm for me when it comes to traveling. I'm so used to prepping most of my stuff. Other than that, I'm not gonna waffle on too much longer because I am running late. And if you know me, I am awful when it comes to timing. Like literally the worst fucking person to arrive on time because I never do, ever, 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 ever. Anyway. With that being said, I'm gonna go and see my mum, pick her up, and then I will go to hers and show you guys where I am staying for the evening. And we have arrived. There's one dog. Hey, Beza. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? And this is where I am staying for the night. How gorgeous. We have finally arrived. It is probably, I think it's like one, quarter past one. But this is where I'm gonna stay. I've got a few things to saw. I need to have some food and then I'll do a quick like mini tour as to what the place looks like. But I absolutely love it in here. I've stayed here many, many times, obviously, because it's my mum's. Um, but I'm very surprised, pleasantly surprised at the weather because it is sunny. It's literally been tipping it down at home recently. It's been pissing me off, but nice weather. Gonna chill, gonna look after my mum. <laughs> Make sure that she's doing okay. I don't know where she's gone to be fair. Um, have a cuddle with the dogs. Oh, here's one. Truffy, come here. Come here. Hey, girl. <laughs> Say hello. Hello to the vlog. Hello to the vlog. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. So we've got Truffle and Beezer. I don't know where Beezer's gone. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love them. And there's also some ducks here as well. So I will show you. Um, but I need a wee in food first. <laughs> right. As the mother is a little bit of a cripple. <laughs> moment. Um, 
<laughs> I'm on duck duty. So, my mum has a total of how many ducks? Th uh, 34. 34 ducks. Some of them are ducklings. Anyway, we need to change the water. Hey, friends. Hello. Look at all of them. Look. Hey, guys. Come on. Come on. So my mum's been here now for five years, six years, something like that. Seven. Seven. Oh, okay, well there you go, time goes quick. Seven years. Um, and I always come and visit. And she's had runner ducks for a rather long time and they've just had little ducklings. Please. And if you didn't know, ducks are literally obsessed. With... That's an excited jump, by the way. Is that what it was? Yes. Yeah, no. Well, at least out of your hands. What, even the baby ones? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, so cute. That's my finger, mate. Oh, that's so soft. That's my finger. Give some to your parents. Can I hold one? Might distress the mum, you can try. Wait, I'll distract I'll distract the mums with the mum's the white one. Okay, which one? Hello, it's okay. Mum's coming to tell you off. She's okay. Right, Bob here, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Or do you want me to rescue you? Don't be such a drama. <laughs> Stop it! That's ridiculous. That stinks. <laughs> that stinks. These are my only clothes I have. I don't even know which one it was. You little stinky shit. Lesson learned. <laughs> So it is a good few hours later, it's about three o'clock now and I've just come out for a walk with the little doggos, I don't know if you can see them, there's one, there's little truffle, hey girly, hey girl, say hello, hey -o. and then that is Beza, Beza, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. So anyway, bring them out on a walk because I'm not gonna lie, I am shattered. I've not prep I've not slept properly the last probably three, four nights. Um, and it's really starting to catch up with me now. So I was tempted to have a nap and I thought, you know what? I need to make the most of this weather, the most of this outdoor space because it is honestly it's such a lovely walk around here. There's so many dogs. But I just thought I need to make the most of it. I've done some jobs for my mum. Just left her to rest. Um it's so weird, like seen her go through what I went through. Um, Jesus, I apologise about those dogs then, not mine. <laughs> Beza, come on. Anyway, um, yeah, it's just really weird seeing her go through what I did, but I left her to rest. I said, look, you're not doing anything. You just need to chill, do nothing. Um, 
but yeah I'm tempted to potentially have a nap just because I've got a lot of work on tonight I've asked if I can have a bath because basically there's there's um friend, friends of my mum staying in the cabin tomorrow night so I'm only staying in the one night and rather than kind of like get all dirty and everything and have to change everything um the bedding's not on I forgot to bring my own so I'm gonna be sleeping with blankets um and I'm just trying to make as little mess as possible in the one night that I'm there basically so yeah she said I could have a bath which is a little sheep hey sheep oh my god hey hello See, this is what I mean. How can you not love a view like this? Like to have this on your doorstep is just unreal. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, um, I'm gonna treat myself to a little bath this evening, have a little pamper session. I'll just go from there. I'm thinking of popping down to Strom tomorrow as well to get some more cream of rice because I'm running low. I need to train, help my mum with some more jobs, tidy up the cabin, ready for the guests, and that's about it. But yeah, I absolutely love it here because it's just so peaceful. Like, apart from those dogs, nothing. Zero. Bliss. Trophy, come on. So I realise I haven't actually showed you yet what the inside looks like. So this is what it looks like. How cute. And it is a fully kitted out kitchen. There is the log burner and some logs, which I'm not going to lie, I always, always struggle to be able to get this to kind of work and burn <laughs> um, a handmade table that my mum made years and years ago um, you've got an oven you've got a microwave you've got fridge um, all like your cooking equipment everything and then the bathroom it is very dark in here at the minute I can't lie um, you've even got a bath which I'm gonna treat myself tonight as I said a beautiful kind of like a rainfall shower thing and just these cute little like handmade designs. So like the toilet roll holder, the one for your towels, everything's just handmade, which is so, so cute. And yeah, honestly, I absolutely love it here. I am very, very, very lucky to be able to stay here when I do come. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to a little pamper evening, should we say. I really need to sort out my face because yeah, I haven't really looked after my skin in a very long time and that is something I need to prioritise very, very soon ASAP and like do it more continuously, basically. But yeah, the, the lighting is not the one. <laughs> Absolutely not. And for the bedroom, again, more handmade. Now it's not made because there are some guests staying so it just saves having to like change the bedding and all that. So handmade bed believe it or not, literally the whole entire thing was handmade. Um, my mum and her partner did it and they've got like the little M beams at the top of the bed there, which I think are just so cool. But yeah, obviously it looks different when the bed is actually made, um, a little mirror. And then this I think is so cool because behind this da, 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 is actually a TV, which is really, really handy. So it doesn't mean it's kind of like looking out, like it's not just there all the time. Um, but yeah, I'm literally, I'm in the most chill clothes that my mum could find because I got shit on me, <laughs> which was just not great. So yeah, literally looking like, I don't even know, like, I feel like someone in the 1990s to be fair, just <laughs> here we are. But yeah, this is where I'm gonna be staying for tonight and then I'm gonna just chill, watch a film. There is a TV in the little lounge section, but it's just so cute and there's just like little decorations and things like that and I absolutely love it. Imagine, waking up and just seeing that, like stunning, absolutely stunning, or just coming out and just walking out here and have your little morning coffee and looking out to that. And it's so cute as well because the ducks, they literally, when they come out, they literally just come all the way down here and they just congregate here and it's so cute. But yeah, my mum is very, very lucky to have this as her garden, basically. <sighs>
is run I'm gonna take my makeup off and chill for like an hour or so right first things first nobody come at me for my makeup removal nighttime skincare routine because your girl doesn't have one <laughs> I, I really need to sort myself out because I'm not gonna lie I take zero pride in my skin at the minute and that honey that needs to change so yeah, I mean, I know that you're not really supposed to use makeup wipes, apparently, I don't know, but it's just so quick and easy and simple that it's just, it's just my go-to, you know? But to be honest, if you know me, you know that I rarely wear that much makeup anyway. It's just, yeah, I can never really be bothered. So anybody out there with any top tips as to what to do, please let me know, because I need it, I need some advice. Help me look after my skin a little bit better because yeah, it it needs it, it really, really does. When I am like taking it off, I just use a makeup wipe and then I go in with using some of the Elemist balm, it's like a cleansing balm. Um, and then I've got two little like, one of them is Ming and I've put it through the wash but it's just stained. Um, it's like an exfoliate, exfoliator um, face thing and then another remover as well which was a lot softer but obviously I've used it so not anymore. God that is very very runny more so than usual. I literally just use this to be honest and I'll just rinse it off. I don't know if you can actually hear that outside but I swear there's some sort of like massive tractor blo tractor going down the um the back road out the front of the house. I don't know how loud that is on here for you guys, but that is loud. That is super, super loud. I think they might be cutting the hedge maybe, but it seems pretty late because it's like almost seven. So I don't know, I don't know. But I found, I say I found, I have a load of face masks that I haven't used at home for literally since I got them ages ago. I don't know if, do they go out of date? Do face masks go out of date? I don't know. I mean, if they do, there's no date on here, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, expiry, I presume expiry, EXP. 19th of April, 2021. Do you think it's okay to use still? It's an avocado sheet mask. Do I, do I? I thought it'd just be nice to kind of like just have a little soak and then have a face mask on. But the other one I've also got, which I use, this is the one that I use in the shower, is the Nip and Fab Exfoliation um, Glycolic Fix Scrub. I just, I don't know. And then I've also got the Garnier Pure Active Charcoal. Do you remember, does anyone remember the peel off blackhead removal, like black mask? That is this, and I'm part tempted to use it just to kind of like give a deep cleanse. Um, again, don't know what I'm doing because I have no routine. So whether I should be doing that, then this, then a sheet mask and exfoliating, I don't know. I don't know, I'm genuinely winging it. I'm a little bit apprehensive now about using that face mask. Do I wanna use an outdated face mask on my face? I don't know, I don't know. Should I just, <clears throat> do I just do this? Maybe I should just do like a little, this is fine because this isn't that old to be fair, I don't think. This is definitely not as old as that. I've not had it three years, that's for sure. I've definitely not had it three years, I hope. But I might literally just put this across like my nose and just. <laughs> oh God. You know, shout out to the girls that actually spend a long ass time like with self care because I rarely have a pamper evening. Like, it's just not a common, like, time for me. It's not a common occurrence. A lot of the time I just can't be bothered. I really can't be bothered. My routine is literally gym, home, work, bed. Like, I just like getting into bed. Like, bath and bed. That is it. A very, very simple, t very simple term, basically. But yeah, as I said, I feel like I ought to kind of make more of an effort. So anybody out there just, let me know. Give me some ideas. This looks horrific. I genuinely feel like Batman right now. Um, I don't really know. I can't bother to do my whole face. Normally I'd do like my T-zone, but I'm like, do I, do I want to? Oh, I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry. 
do I just go and sit and watch telly for a little bit before I get in the bath? Because I can't bother, like, you know when it, like, is too hot in the bath and it, like, steams? I don't want the water, like, the evaporation and the steam to stop it from drying out. Why am I overthinking this too much? Why? Oh my god, this is irritating my eyes. I feel like fumes or something coming up into my eyes. This is not very comfortable at all. Oh, that's my eyebrow. That's in my brow. I mean, attractive, absolutely attractive. Do we just go a little bit for the chin? <laughs> oh shit, oh god, oh no. I don't wanna eat that. Oh. I also don't wanna get it everywhere because as I said, there's people staying in here tomorrow and my mum would actually genuinely kill me if I made a state of this place overnight. I feel like they're the main places that people get like blackheads. I mean, it's the only place I've ever like put it before. What do we think? Is this is this a new look? What do we think? Um, I'm just gonna have to wait for it to dry and then peel it off. I think so. We'll do that. I'm just gonna chill for another little bit. It's literally like, oh, what time is it? Yeah, it's ten past seven. It's fine. I'll let it dry. I'll peel it off. I'll put my sheet mask on and pray that it doesn't like give me a reaction or something and then chill, zen. I just wish I had some candles, but I don't. So my bath soak will have to do. But yeah, let's see how long this takes to dry. <laughs> Update, it is pretty much dry. However, I am getting bored of waiting. So I don't know if it's like fully, fully set or what. I'ma just take it off because I want my bath. I used to love like, check in like a few things have come out i'm not gonna have to put this in the bins at my i thought that was gonna hurt more maybe this one will i don't know it's always so satisfying when you get to peel it off in like one in one Well, that's got a fair few out my nose. That has definitely got a few out the nose. Ooh. Is that gross? Is that gross that I actually love looking at that? <laughs> I need to get rid of those little bits. These bits weren't like fully, fully dry. Now the question remains, do I actually just try the, um, the face mask? Oh man, it's all stuck in my nose ring. Shit. Great. Bye. Do I do it? Do I do it? I'ma do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh. Oh, okay, it's not even a sheet one. Is it a sheet one? It says sheet. Why does it, wait, what? What the, what? Uh, I was doing the wrong bit. Oh, that doesn't smell that bad. It smells quite nice. Oh my God, this is so slimy. So, so slimy. <laughs> Probably this can't do anything bad to me by being out of date. Does it matter which way around it goes? <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. It fits perfectly. You know what? Doesn't feel half that bad. I mean, it doesn't look great. It doesn't, but um, yeah, that's uh, that's not bad at all. I think I'm gonna hop in the bath, chill out for like a half hour, put my laptop on, watch a watch a film. I just wish there was like a little light in here because I don't want the big light on. Maybe the light from my laptop will be enough. We'll go with that. But yeah, I'm a I'm a chill, enjoy my bath, and wait for my skin to feel rejuvenated, refreshed. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is the next morning. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot later than I was planning on getting up. However, I am just sitting here with my little hot chocolate and the ducks are outside. I was doing some work last night and I basically just watched a film and chilled. Basically just, oh my god, my voice is so bad in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, I just had such a chill night. Uh, 
and I'm gonna be cleaning it shortly just so that it's ready for the guests when they arrive. It's been so, so nice. I'll probably take the dogs out for another walk again today at some point. Weather's certainly not as nice as yesterday, which is a shame. I need to pop down to the gym as well and then obviously just chill with my mum, look after her, make sure she's okay. But I absolutely love staying in here. It's just so nice and peaceful. It's just, oh, it's so quiet. I love it. Apart from the ducks, the ducks can be noisy. And another thing as well, there was a bloody tractor in the field surrounding like literally on the other side, all the way down to the bottom of the garden, there was a massive tractor doing something in the field. I don't know what, I don't know, but it was loud. But I had such a needed sleep. Obviously, as I said, I've been so behind on sleep recently and I slept so much last night, which was so needed. So yeah, it's gonna be another day of the same sort of stuff, gym, chill, clean a little bit here. Um, that's about it really. It's just been nice to be somewhere different for the night and just, be, be quiet for once. nature apparently. I swear to God if any more bugs decide to fly out at me I'm not going to be Oh my God, bugs everywhere. Jesus, there's just bugs. Where? On the pillowcase. I'm just not in the pillowcase. Well, there's a black beetle bug thing. Where? I'm going to go out whenever we're done. You can literally see whatever that is in there moving. It's huge, it's so big. It doesn't do it justice as to how big it actually is. That was disgusting, absolutely disgusting. Uh, little PSA, your gal doesn't like spiders. I fucking hate them. They're horrible, they're honestly horrible. I, it's an irrational fear, although it's not irrational because there's stories of them going in your ears, up your nose, swallowing them. It was so big, it was so big. Uh, I honestly, I hope there's no more. I pray. 
Oh, look at your eyes. <laughs> you look so sad. <laughs> Building castles in the sky Holding on Maybe I should got a plan, but You see that car like right over in the distance driving away Um, They've literally just driven through and left the gate dead ass wide open with cows Are they... does he... does he know? Does he know that he's left it open? Are they going to run away? He's literally driving off. You can see him in the distance. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's got a plan. I mean, he did come out of the farm, granted. But let's hope they don't escape. <laughs> Good morning everyone, sorry about the um, shitty quality, I'm currently on my phone because I didn't want to bring my camera with me, however, it is the next day and I am thoroughly in my dog mom era, um, walking the dogs, which to be honest, I'm actually, I'm loving it, it's so so nice to just come out first thing in the morning, get some fresh air, get my steps done for the day, yeah, so it's really really fun, um, I was thinking on the walk, like I don't mind it when it's been raining and then it's just stopped and it's still damp outside, um, I've not as you can see got any waterproof and it's just started raining so that's great and last night so i basically moved out the cabin into my mum's house which is basically a little cottage um the the electricity tripped last night so that was fun um if the wi-fi wasn't bad enough compared to what i'm used to like i couldn't work last night because the wi-fi just wasn't allowing me to upload stuff um and then the next minute everything went off like literally everything and normally that's fine like I don't mind being off grid like not having anything if I know um and last night was a little bit unexpected so yeah we spent basically 30 minutes in the pitch black before we realized that my mom's partner said oh is it the wire that's been left outside now it's raining and getting wet excuse me are you dumb so we had to go down to the bottom of the garden and basically just sort out the cable which had got wet and that was basically what caused it so that was fun and then this morning i woke up feeling hella sick because we love that we love it absolutely love it so yeah like it's just been a bit of a weird few days basically anyway i'm gonna finish off the walk we're about halfway through it's about an, uh, a mile and a half long stop eating the grass about halfway and then we're gonna chill for a little bit then go to the gym train legs and then i am back home tomorrow but it's just been nice being at one with nature stop eating the grass <laughs> Come here. um so yeah other than that i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my walk Hopefully not get too wet if it continues to rain. Normally I do my walks with my headphones in and today I didn't because I need to be careful of the cars with the dogs. Um, and it's just been nice to enjoy nature and peace and quiet. And yeah, it's good fun. But anyway, I'm gonna finish up the walk and probably catch you guys shortly. <laughs> that it doesn't bloody fall because I've got it in the most awkward position right now. <laughs> However, um, I have left my mum's. I've just pulled up for my photo shoot in Warrington. I'm shooting with Mal. I have shot with him once before, several months ago, and it was great fun. He is a lovely, lovely guy, so I'm really, really looking forward to today. I have had a lovely little breakaway and weekend with my mum. I haven't seen my mum in ages, so it was nice just to spend some time with her, have a little bit of downtime, enjoy the peace and quiet, the countryside, and just chill, look after her, make sure she's doing okay, which thankfully she is recovering very, very well. It's been a nice break, very much needed. The fact that the 
internet was absolutely dire was very frustrating however it kind of forced me to just have a break which yes is good and it did do me good to literally just switch off from things and like come off the internet a little bit more however there are certain things that do require me to like have a deadline on certain work things so that was a little bit of annoying um a little bit annoying so yeah it, it is what it is i'm back home tonight and then i'm actually away again tomorrow in london for two nights with a friend either way it was very very nice but tell me why <laughs> <laughs> last night oh my god so i was basically i stayed in the lounge on the sofa because it was a massive sofa um the last two nights tell me why i got my mum up out of bed in the middle of the night to get rid of a spider did i do that yes i don't oh, i don't know what it is i have a ridiculously un unrational fear unrational irrational irrational <laughs> irrational fear of spiders i don't know why i'm thinking i'm blaming it on my sister hear me out when I was younger she used to catch them and throw them at me and it got to the point that she would then pretend to throw them at me so she'd like cut up her hands and be like oh I'm gonna throw this at you and I would have to barricade myself behind a door and I would I would get so anxious and het up that she was gonna throw this spider at me and I think the thought as well of like little bugs like creeping in my ears or like getting just going in places they should not be freaks me the fuck out so yeah since then I think that's what did it so TJ if you're watching this I blame you um apart from that that house is just bloody that house is riddled with spiders it is disgusting but that's what you get when you live in the country and I don't <laughs> so I'm not really used to that side of things but I'm gonna have to shoot because I am doing my photo shoot I've I need to go in now I do hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up like comment share subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of like day in the life weekend vloggy kind of style videos let me know pop it in the comments um but yeah other than that hope you enjoyed um it's been it's been a nice little weekend and I am gonna go and have my photo taken <laughs> but other than that stay tuned and catch you guys at the next one